Hey guys, Colga here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bone Shaker TS5 um, XGN Mint Thrower. Was nice enough to lend us his account for this review, and we will be returning the favor. He does have a YouTube channel called Ashton2003. If you're interested in, I guess, RNG fails and such, or funny clips is what how he describes it. Go ahead and check it out. He doesn't have much yet, but I assume he's uh, building up at the, the moment. Of course, you don't have to check it out if you don't want to. Nobody's forcing you. But you know, he was kind enough to to send us his uh, his account so we can get this review going. So I guess we can be kind enough to go check it out and decide for ourselves. That's what I say. That's what I say indeed. So thank you, Ashton, for sending this over. Um, let's uh, let's play it. So I've changed a couple of his settings, and by that I mean I. Toggle, toggle zoom. I, I have to play with that on. As crazy as it is. And uh, what else did we change? Oh, yeah, the brightness. But other than that, uh, and inverted reverse. So we should be good. So the Bone Shaker. It's the uh, it's a tank you can buy. It's premium. And it looks like a Hot Wheel. Interestingly enough. Uh, what does it do? <laughs> it shoots its gun. It's got a 120 millimeter gun. With 248 pen on its standard, which is really good for a tier 8. 300 on its premium, which is really good for tier 8. 6.32 rounds a minute, which is pretty decent for a tier 8. Uh, I think that beats the E5. Yeah, it does. A 1.9 seconds any time, but 0.44 accuracy. So this tank wants to get close and personal to do damage. However, let's take a look at its, uh, its speed. Its blistering top speed of 26. Oh boy, and 12.5 horsepower per ton. Well, you want to get close to people, but that doesn't mean you will. Five degrees gun depression isn't very good either. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how well this tank can do. I um, mean, he's got it equipped with a gun rammer, camo net, and enhanced gun laying drive. Interestingly enough, but uh, we will not be changing any of that. We'll just be uh, we'll be going with the flow here, and uh, see see how well this tank does. See how it does. First impressions. And I also just got the rip rod or whatever. Wait, what are those? Uh, what are all those little SP1Cs called? I don't give a care. Uh, Tiger Shark, one of them is, and blah, blah, blah. Well, I got one of them, so we'll be reviewing that as well, maybe Monday or Wednesday, because Monday might be a news episode. Hoping, hopefully, it'll be a news episode. And if that's the case, then we'll have a stream on Tuesday, and then since we'll have a stream on Tuesday, we'll likely have a review on Wednesday. And then we're on to the... Uh, oh, there we go. Then we're on to the medium... Well, the, the heavy tank eventually when we get that. Oh wow, we're top tier. First game. First game in this tank. Top tier. Uh, we probably just want to go straight to here and just shoot everybody in anyone. Also, is the game a bit loud? I think so. We'll turn it down a bit. Turn it down just a tad. And, oh, we didn't talk about armor. Armor's pretty good. Weak Capola. Weak-ish lower plate. But in this kind of matchmaking, we might be a, a pain to deal with. 1500 health. I didn't realize it had so much. This could be good. Uh, definitely not a tank I think I would ever buy. I mean, you have... What's the turtle called? The Diamondback, right? So I don't think there's a reason to really buy this thing. In my own humblest opinions. I could be slow with the Diamondback. And I have DPM. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Roger Dodger. That's what it is, the tank, heavy tank we'll be using later. He probably spotted us there. Likely. Da da. Da da. Come here. You missed, laddie. Can get some. He wants some. We had a shot on his turret there. Come here. Come here. Get some. Come get some. I'm not stupid. Um, actual Capone on the other side. Let's just 
back up, huh? Boom. We don't need our gun. You should probably get your front towards me, buddy. I just want to blame the gun for that one. <laughs> Get here! Who else wants some? Let's fix that gun. Where did Roger Dodger go is the question you have to ask yourself. There he is, he's on the other side. Ow. Nice. There we go. There we go, laddies! Oh, he's on fire. What a shame. What an absolute nightmare for him. Ow! Artie. Artie's a mean. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Wouldn't wanna be ya. That doesn't make any sense. Nice to meet you, wouldn't wanna be ya? No, it makes none. Gotta believe. Oh, terrible. Absolutely awful. Oh, terrible. Absolutely. 0.44 accuracy, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps vents wouldn't be a bad idea on this thing. Ooh, that was close. This thing's brutal when it stops too, I'll give it that. Oh, get, get out of here! Alright, Piggy, you're next. Those guys should be dead by the time we get there, so uh, let's see if we can spot out this, this artillery. We're not going to be fast enough, I think we should just sit here and hope he's not behind that rock. He's likely going to be behind the rock, actually. Let's sit right here. He's got to be directly behind that rock. You watch. No, he's not. He's right there. Ugh. No. No! <laughs> Whatever. I'll take... Oh, the game's not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not over. But we'll likely cut this part out, because we're just going to be driving and not be able to shoot anything. Such is life. Uh-huh. All right. Well, uh, game one. Game one in this tank. Victory! It was obvious we were going to win. <laughs> the, he, the light tank didn't even go for artillery, even though he had a free shot. He actually drove straight into a group of our guys. I was driving around the map the other way, thinking he was going to go after artillery and then try to escape. But he did not! So, uh, it is what it is. But hey -oh. Wow. Look at all the PlayStation 4, I just realized. Look at that. We had one, two... Three people, not PlayStation 4. Interesting. All right, not too bad. Uh, not not a bad first game at all. Let's jump into another one right here and uh, go. So anyway, I had somebody comment on my video yesterday saying, um, complaining because of the, th the three good matchmaking games I had yesterday in my tier eights and sevens. Or were they just tier eights? What did we play yesterday? I think we just played tier eights. Well, we had pretty good matchmaking yesterday. Um, and he was complaining, and he set the game on uh, Fisherman's Bay where we lost. He was all upset because because the game was set up perfectly for me, and it required no skill whatsoever. And so it's quite interesting. But 
and he said it was because of my uh, win rate. He said the only reason I had a good win rate was because of my uh, my matchmaking. Um, but I mean, look at that. We just had good matchmaking, and we're on a different account. So that that means that's his theory, his hypothesis gone. Good good theory, sir. <laughs> because it is clearly not true, my good sir. Clearly, it just so happened we had a good matchmaking, all right? And the only reason it was set up so nicely for us was because uh, we were willing to relocate, and we re kept relocating at the right time. We stayed in a position where we were able to snipe, then from there we relocated, then from there we relocated again. Uh, we really played it really, really well up until the end, so. So yeah, all right. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Banana is where I want to go. Because my Capola is on my right side, we might be able to do just some nasty things here. If we can get to the right side. And hide it. We might be able to brutalize just the enemy team. T95 is going to be a scary thing to fight, but we actually might be able to take him too. I don't know what the armor is on this thing, and I should have checked. But, you know what? We'll find out. It's better to, to test, test the armor for ourselves than make speculations. So let's do that. T95 is there, that's good news. And this guy's got an inaccurate gun. So we'll uh, we'll send it. And that shot, by the way, was disgusting. You miss 100,000 million percent of the shots you don't take, so sometimes you just gotta take them. Come here. T95 may show up at any moment. Good play, I guess. By that, uh, lighting. Oh boy. Oh, he's HE, eh? That means we likely win this fight. We just have to be patient because our team is winning. So we're just gonna be patient here. Good modeling by Wargaming there. Dude, this guy is a stellar, a stellar stud of a player. That's an unfortunate bounce. But, you know what? We're gonna hope he's still shooting HG. And he is. <clears throat> we can take the HG. But, you know, we don't like it when those shots bounce there. Great. They move our track, we're stuck. New crew, ladies and gentlemen, new crew. Get! I say get to you, sir! Ow. Lucky dog! No good, it bounced, sir. 
Oh, but well, this medium doesn't, you know, look left and shoot me. Hello. I didn't give you too much of my side. I didn't give you enough, should I say? Get. I say get to you. Where is this T10? That's terrifying. This is awful. I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm alive! A T28? You wanna shoot this guy? No? Okay, that's fine. T28 was Mr. Tunnel, is what we'll call him. Mr. Tunnel! Boom! Get! Get out of here! <laughs> you know, this isn't a bad tank. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bad tank. Um, it's just got a nice gun. And the armor is decent. Like, you can just push up to the front. It's very T-28-like, but a little bit more flexible, I think. I'm not gonna buy it still, because it's too slow. But we'll do one more game. Plus, we've had kind of just Muppets we've been fighting. The T-95 was firing AP and shot me in my lower plate. We'd have died in two shots, right? But he wasn't. He was shooting HE. And this thing has a lot of armor in the front, so the HE barely did anything, even though it was 155. But, uh, there we go. I'm, I'm a bigger map. A more open map, should I say. Maybe we'll be fighting 10s, and then we'll just get to see, see what this thing does against 10s. Probably not as effective against 10s, obviously. Unless, you know, they're Muppets. But, you know, maybe we'll get an ace if we fight some tents. Who knows? It's fun, though. It is fun. Once you get into the battle. I mean, they gave us Himmelsdorf. Which is very small and perfect for the tank like this. And then they, they, before that, they gave us a big map. But the enemy team, a bunch of heavies and medium, just drove in front of me. So that was awesome. But now we've got this. Uh, two pigs. We're going to go to the town. They spawned us as far away from the town as they possibly could. Uh, but we're still gonna make our way there. Eventually. But let's keep going. There we go. Also, I didn't mention this. Uh, link in the description below to uh, Ashman's uh, uh, YouTube. In case you're wondering. But it's there. He doesn't have vertical stabilizer on. Oh, that's what was so weird. When I was zooming in and turning. Eh, we don't need it. We do not need it or any tank destroyer. We have to remember also when we're done. To go here and turn that off. Turn that back on. And then lower the brightness. And we're good. We're good to go. We shall be good. That's a lot of tanks over there. But that's what I'm here for. And that. Oh, those are both what I'm here for. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, oh! I'm just looking at a farm right now, boys. Slice me off a piece of this action. Hello! I am what we'd like to call your execution, sir. Just kidding. Um, I, I hit the magical, mystical uh, world of who knows what. Okay, so the accuracy is coming into play here. Thank you. Even from that range. But we hit that, so, you know. World of Tanks.
Wow, that's a tier 7 Arnie, by the way. Like, if that was a tier 8 Arnie, you know, it, it would have made more sense, but it wasn't, so. We might be dead here, boys. Because we lost more than half our health to a lower tier tank. Whew! We're alive! Lower plate, by the way. Nice bounce, T30. I'm so dead. I'm so. No! <laughs> Why did we have to have a bot T30? <laughs> we shot him straight to the upper plate. <laughs> I cried. <sighs> also, that was completely fair and balanced. <laughs> Tier seven artillery. <gasps> Boom! 800 health gone. We're down to what? 600 and something. So he did almost 900 damage to us. A tier 7, ladies and gentlemen, artillery. Tier 7. Think about that. And that was probably the tier 8 arty right there. Because he did less damage. Or sorry, the tier 9 arty. <laughs> oh, golly. Golly. Alright, well that's going to be the review. Uh, don't get artied. Uh, I, but I think that's the case for every tank. Is don't get artied. Unfortunately for me, uh, I had no say in the matter, and I got already. So, there you go. Uh, what do I think of this tank? Is it worth the pickup? Absolutely flipping not. No way, Jose. Also, I think we bounced the T30 shot when we were rolling in. I could be wrong though. No, it wasn't T30. I don't know what we blocked. It was Scorpion or something. I don't know. Regardless, ah, uh, that's gonna be the video. Thanks guys for tuning. In. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, thanks Ashton for sending us over your account, uh, and I will be seeing you guys all later. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit. YouTube, link in the description below, and I will catch you all later. Take care, everyone. Uh, camping a meal. And peace out.